The 1999 Wolfpack burst on the football scene with a new uniform, new star players in the making, and a veteran quarterback passing his way into ACC history. The Pack began their 99 campaign with a visit to the Lone Star State to face a confident Longhorn team in front of 82,000 Texas fans. But if the Longhorns were looking to get their kicks against the Wolfpack, they found out the hard way that they had invited the Pack to a Texas-sized block party. After spotting the Longhorns a 10-point first quarter lead, the Pack stormed back with a sparkling 80-yard scoring drive. Ray Robinson capped off the march by knifing through the Texas D for a sizzling 25-yard touchdown run. Then in the second quarter, the Pack moved into denial mode. Texas drove the ball deep into Wolfpack territory, but on fourth and one from the Pack 15, the Horns were denied. On their next possession, Texas stalled on its own 31. On fourth down, the Horns lined up to punt, but there were holes in their line and a leak got through. Eric Leach's blocked punt results in a safety for the Wolfpack. It also sent a message to the Texas faithful, there were more to come. The Longhorns led the Pack 17-9 at the beginning of the fourth quarter, and after recovering a state fumble, Texas looked like it was sitting pretty with a first and 10 on the Pack 28. But instead of marching down the field, the Horns were hooked and then cooked by a swarming state defense. Three plays later, Texas had been pushed back to their own 48-yard line. Then it was flashback time for the Horns. Chris Coleman back at his 10 to receive the punt. Here's the snap. It's a one-hopper. Punt is blocked. It's loose. Picked up by Tony Scott. Scott's got it at the 15. 10-5. Touchdown, Wolfpack. The Longhorns clung to a five-point lead with five minutes left in the game. But with fourth and seven on their own 44, Texas was forced again to punt. The Horns sent in a new center to snap the ball. Different center, same result. Again, Holt stuffed the punt. This time, Eric Lee corralled the ball and galloped. 35 yards for the score. Suddenly, the Pack had the lead. And Jamie Barnett sealed it with a two-point conversion pass that hit Chris Coleman right in the numbers in the back of the end zone. The silence was deafening at Texas Memorial Stadium. The Wolfpack had sent Texas a message, you don't mess with NC State. At the start of the 99 season, senior quarterback Jamie Barnett had already thrown for the most touchdowns in Wolfpack history. He had also set school records in pass attempts, passing yards, and total offense. But in 1999, Barnett would crown his stellar pack career by engraving his name in the ACC passing record books. With a quick release and the ability to stay in the pocket, Barnett consistently sparked the pack attack. Barnett could find a seam in the defense, he could find the open man, and he could always find the goal line. Barnett has repeatedly shown that he can burn top-rated teams, lighting up the boards against powerhouses like Syracuse and Florida State. In 99, Barnett would crown his career by throwing for 2,320 yards, including 13 touchdowns. As Barnett connected on pass after pass, his name climbed higher and higher on the all-time ACC passing list. When rivaling conference QBs Barnett and Georgia Tech's Joe Hamilton went head-to-head -head in Atlanta, both passes were within striking distance of the ACC record for touchdown passes. Jamie got there first with a 70-yard throw to Corin Robinson. It was Barnett's 57th scoring pass of his career. Number 58 came a week later against Maryland in what would be Barnett's final game at Carter-Finley Stadium. And what a way to go. In addition to the record-shattering scoring strike to Chris Coleman, Barnett rolled up a total of 324 yards. It was his highest total of the season and the fifth time in his career that Barnett had thrown for 300 or more yards in a game. Jamie Barnett would finish his career in second place on the all-time ACC list for touchdown passes total passing yards, and total offense. His school records may never be equal. Through his years at North Carolina State, Barnett's spirit, spark, and sheer determination made him the leader of the pack. I'm just happy to be able to, to hold that record, and I commend all the people that helped me get the record from receivers and the offensive line, help doing the blocking, and giving me the time to throw the ball. For four years, All-American cornerback Lloyd Harrison patrolled the secondary for the pack. 
with Harrison on the prowl. The point was always clear. There was no getting around him. Harrison could outrun his opponents. He could overpower them and outsmart them. And if they threw at him, he would make them pay. Harrison dominated opposing quarterbacks, breaking up 40 pass plays in his state career. His 12 interceptions place him fourth on the all-time NC State list. Before Harrison's senior year, he was named a Playboy All-American. He lived up to the billing, leading the pack in interceptions with five and breaking up 15 passes. Harrison put on a football clinic against Georgia Tech with 10 tackles, including five solo stops. He saved a score, picking off Joe Hamilton's pass in the end zone, and he played a little offense, too, snaring a 36-yard pass on a fake punt play to set up a Wolfpack score. In the middle of the 99 season, Harrison was named a semifinalist for the prestigious Jim Thorpe Award, an honor celebrating the top scholar athletes in the nation. As his career at State comes to a close, Harrison can look forward to taking his game to the pros. There's no getting around it. Harrison is headed for the NFL. Oh, being named All-ACC definitely means a lot to me because it just shows that the hard work and the perseverance and that you've gone through the whole season is, is paying off right now. And then, but it's not an individual effort. This has to do with all our teammates and the push up front that we get to enable us in the secondary to make big plays.